Wow, have a look at the beautiful mountain scenery here. That is incredible, right? I'm still in Ella. These are the mountains around Ella and I am on the way to a mountain called Little Adams Peak and then we're going to hike up there. So yeah, I got this bike from my hotel for the day. One and a half thousand rupees was the fee. And yeah, let's go down this mountain, down to the town Ella. Wow, a beautiful view here. And a little goat just standing here randomly around. Or even more. You see down there in the bushes are two more. Hello. Maybe some mountain goats here. And I'm on the wrong side of the road now. But that's all right. So <laughs> yeah, let's start the journey. I'm excited to be back on the bike again. It's always um, yeah the most interesting days, I think, to... Uh... Oh, hello. Oh, that was the fishman you saw in one of the previous videos. Yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, it's always uh, the most interesting journeys for me, usually when I just having my own bike, exploring around the mountains. I'm able to stop whenever I want, wherever I want. Uh, to be honest, I just realized that the petrol is almost empty. I got an almost empty bike. So maybe it is a good idea to uh, take care of that first before we continue the journey. But to be honest, I haven't seen a gas station here yet. Okay, let's go on a little side quest first. Find a gas station before we continue to, uh, to the mountain that we are going to hike. Let's see. Hello, hello. Yeah. I have a question. I, I'm looking for a gas station. Just uh, ask them, please. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's see if the shop here knows. Oh, that's maybe also a good idea to uh, buy some water because I have no water on me and we want to go on a hike. Hello. Hi. Um, I would like to have a water. Yeah. Please. Five cents? Hmm? Five liters? Uh, no, no, no. Small, small. Small? Small, please, yes. And do you know a place where I can get gas for the motorbike? Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. You have here? Yes, sir. Ah, okay, perfect. Ah. Gas here? Yes. For bike? Yeah? Okay. Let's see, she said here. Not really sure what's going to happen here. Yes? Petrol. No, huh? no I need gas. Petrol. petrol? No, no have petrol. No, oh, <laughs> I thought you have petrol here. Uh, oh, where, where can I find petrol? Uh, All right, yeah, that was a little bit confusing now. She said first she has petrol and then she doesn't have petrol, but probably there was just a little misunderstanding, so no problem. Yeah, usually when you rent these motorbikes, you get them with full petrol, right? So that's why I haven't even really looked at it at the beginning. Six kilometer um, main road. Six kilometer this direction. Main road. Oh. Not this direction. No, no, no. no, no. no. Only this. Oh. Okay. Left side, uh, petrol side. Uh huh. But I'm. Um, uh... Right. And why is there a cow running around the village? Look at this. <laughs> that is funny. Where do you want to go, buddy? Oh, was that a hello? Yeah, the cow does not follow the traffic rules turns into a rather long mission to find a petrol station. Six kilometer away, that's what he said. Why, does it mean that Ella Town doesn't have a single petrol station? Huh. How long does it take to ride six kilometers? Because I'm on this road for quite a few minutes already and I haven't seen a gas station. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful to ride here. The scenery is absolutely amazing. So I don't really mind this little excursion to the gas station. But I start to worry because, yeah, it's uh, at zero, kind of. So I'm in a uh, high need for some petrol or some gas. Whatever English word you prefer for this. I'm not really sure which is the most commonly used word, gas or petrol. I don't really know. Excuse me, guys, for the delay. Uh, start 
of the hiking journey today. I'm just showing you how uh, my travel days are looking like. And uh, if I have to uh, make a excursion to find some gas, then that's in the video because it's part of my day, you know? Raw and authentic videos. All right, I really start to question the existence of this petrol station. Maybe let's have a look on Google Maps. The reason why I haven't looked on Google Maps yet is because most of these small gas stations here in the villages aren't even on Google Maps. Let me have a look because I'm riding for 10-15 minutes already. What's the best way to search for gas stations on Google Maps in Sri Lanka? Gas or petrol station? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. The, ne the next gas station on Google Maps is another 20 minutes away, so that's definitely not the one that they meant. Excuse me, hello. Yeah. I'm looking for a gas station. Not a I want to find a gas station. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I need, I need gas. Not enough gas? No, no, yeah. I need new. Can find here? Yeah, yeah, because uh, you drive uh, uh, four kilometers. Four kilometers? Yes. Oh, over there they said two. Oh, in, in, Ella, there, yeah. in Ella they say two. Yeah. And now already and four, four more. Four, four, one. But 100%? Yes. Yeah. Where do you go? go? I want to go to Little Adam's Peak. Little Adam's Peak? Yes. You go back to uh, this way? Yeah. Yeah, you see, sometimes it is not easy to uh, fulfill easy tasks like finding a gas station in a rural Sri Lanka. But that is okay guys, I'm not complaining about it. It's just part of the adventure here and I'm not in a rush at all. The sun is shining, I enjoy the ride here, so no problem. Alright, believe it or not, I found a gas station, which was supposed to be like a small five minute detour. It was now over half an hour detour. We are the only gas station here. In Ella, no gas station. Really uh, not easy to find. <laughs> All right, here yeah, this was now a perfect example of not everything goes right or goes as planned when you travel, especially not when you're traveling in rural areas. Situations like this where you just have to spend over half an hour to find a gas station, these situations happen, but it is always really important that you don't let this ruin your mood, right? So no problem, I spent half an hour here now riding around the beautiful scenery. Let's go back to Ella and uh, find Adam's Peak, little Adam's Peak. All right, we are getting closer to our destination and I can't drive up there the whole way. There's a part where I have to hike for, I heard, 30 to 40 minutes. But let's see how far I can get up here with the motorbike. Actually, you know what, let's get a coconut. Support these aunties here sitting here all day. Can I get a coconut, please? Yeah, okay. How much is the coconut? 120. 120, okay. I think this is not the first time you are doing this. Like an expert. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a straw? Ah, yeah. Ah, yes, we have a straw here. That's nice. Okay, stuti stuti. Oh yes. Thanks a lot. Ah oh, yeah, let's uh, take this last break before the hike starts. Yeah, I think it's 30 to 40 minutes to hike. But let's see how far we can actually go with the bike. Any stuti? No, oh, no, not eat, not eat. Just no, drinking, eat. just drinking. <laughs> Just drinking. Thanks a lot. Okay. okay. No so. pay money. Huh? No. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, ah, okay. no, no hungry. Okay. Just wanted to have a little drink. Yeah, just give you the helmet here. Huh? Helmet. Helmet? Yeah. yeah. I want to wear. No, they uh, keep it here, the scooty. Walking. Oh no, I want to drive until I cannot drive anymore. No, no, this only. After walking. Ah, after there? Yeah. Ah, have to walk. Yes, ah, okay. bike here, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah. okay, okay. Actually, uh, she became quite talkative off camera. And uh, she, for example, told me that over there, that is uh, the Ella Rock, which I think is even higher than the, the, the mountain that we are about to uh, hike up to. But she also said you need like three hours to get up there. So it's rather an activity you start in the morning. Not after a huge delay because of the search for gasoline. See you in about one hour maybe? Ah, okay. okay.
Bye bye. So, yeah, she said, um, here's the point where I can't drive anymore. So she offered it that I can park my bike at her stall. And yeah, basically the only reason why I stopped here was because I wanted to give her some business. And I was sitting here now for like 10, 12 minutes. Many, many people came by actually. Nobody bought something. So you can imagine how it is for these people here. And there are several of these stalls here. I'm sitting around here all day in the heat and not getting uh, many customers. So what I want to say with this, uh, if you can, just stop at their stalls, buy a fresh coconut, it's super delicious. Oh wait, I forgot to pay the coconut. Now I'm talking about support these shops and I haven't even paid for it. Huh? I forgot to pay the coconut. I forgot to pay the coconut. No. <laughs> I not pay the coconut. No problem, but after. Oh, I can do now, no problem. <laughs> it's okay. okay. 50 for, for the bike. Yeah, okay, thank for you. Keep, for keeping an eye on the bike. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, almost forgot to pay this lady. What a beautiful day it is. And I think they are building a really good looking hotel here. I think that's going to be a pool down there, then maybe a terrace for a cafe or a restaurant. And then uh, you have, oh, I can imagine like sitting there in the pool and then this view. Oh, there's a zip line down there. Another tourist attraction here. Well, yeah, let's see how long I need up there. The lady at the coconut stall said 20 minutes. Online I read 30 minutes and my hotel told me 40 minutes. Just made a quick stop here. We have the zip lining center here which is uh, packed with tourists. But uh, we have to climb the stairs here. And as you can see here, it might be a good idea to bring proper shoes to uh, walk up here, to hike up here. I think it would be more difficult with uh, just flip-flops. All right, the final steps to the top. Wow, Whew, it took me now a little bit over half an hour to get up here. Whew. But uh, I would already say it's worth it, isn't it? Wow, absolutely magnificent here. Yeah, a few days ago I was in Haputale, you saw that in the previous video. And in that video I said that Haputale is the most beautiful area that I have uh, seen so far in Sri Lanka. But I think now I have to correct myself. This is the most beautiful view, the most beautiful scenery I have uh, seen so far here in Sri Lanka. Yeah, and I am also here because of you guys, because many, many of you in the comment section recommended to uh, visit the little Adams Peak here in Ella. A few episodes ago, I asked you for your recommendations and really hundreds of comments of recommendations, which places I should visit, which areas in Sri Lanka I should cover. Huge, huge thanks for that. I'm sorry that I can't answer all the comments because it's literally hundreds of comments per day, but I really, really appreciate them. I still read them all, so really, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, I have spent now almost half an hour here just admiring the view, appreciate the moment. That is really important that sometimes you just uh, leave your phone in the pocket, leave your camera off, just enjoy the moment and live in the moment, you know? And yeah, it was a little bit of a rough start. Not everything went as planned with the huge detour of uh, getting the gas or the petrol, but in the end it was definitely worth it. So when you are facing situations like this while traveling, don't let that ruin your mood. In the end it was uh, totally worth it. And I'm still good in time. And yeah, if you haven't seen the video in Haputale, where we also saw incredible breathtaking views, then check out this video right here. Thanks for joining, stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.